body children, burning all the students of 10th standard. I am your English teacher and also the principal of this Sign Hill, Sign Hill Academy Medication Higher Secondary School. And this is a one more big step to promote your education. So, on behalf of the students and teachers, we should thank the main aim of the Sign Hill Academy. Because before the introduction of this video, that means we, you, now we are using the camera, that means you can have the video classes. Before that, there is no chance of seeing the board work of the teachers. Today onwards, we are having board work and you can see the teacher's expression and the face. Okay, so as to have an effective, uh, what's this, effective learning of the subjects. Please. Utilize the opportunity of this uh, video online classes. That's what I want. Okay. So today I'm not going to have this video type classes. Kindly cooperate with the teachers so as to make you to learn more regarding the all the subjects. Okay. So first of all, I want to convey my greetings and congrats and blessings to all of you. May God be with you always. Now, I want to start the grammar. So, because without grammar, there is no English. If you know the basic steps of grammar, we can easily speak and write good English. So, because today, English being the global language. So, we are knowing good English, both reading and writing and speaking English. We will fetch you a good job. That you know well that I already gave you the enough uh, enough classes regarding the importance of the English. So kindly cooperate with me and kindly follow me. So uh, this regarding with this topic already in, during your ninth standard I taught you. But this is a this class is a, just a reminder to you because this is the gateway of uh, English grammar. So without having enough knowledge in this part. Uh, you cannot go into the English grammar. I think all of you know the title. What's the title? Parts of speech. So this is the threshold. That means gateway of English grammar. Today, I want, today in this video class, I want to give just the intro about the, just a intro and the reminding, reminding of the uh, parts of speech. Okay, come on, listen to me carefully. Speech. What do you mean by parts of speech? So parts of speech depicts the functions of each and every word. Okay, so this is parts of speech determine the functions of each and every word. So you know, as we all know, English has more than 30 to 40 lakhs today. Okay, so even though there are plenty of vocabularies in English, parts of speech depicts the functions of each and every word in a sentence. Okay, so totally how many types of parts of speech are there? So it is a very simple, there are eight such a parts of speech. What are they? What's the first, what's the first one? Now, so totally parts of speech depicts the functions of each and every thing. So now we are going to see the numbers of parts of speech. The first one is noun. What's noun? As we all know, well, because already we are seeing the ninth standard itself. Okay. So what uh, noun means? It's a name of a person. So now, name of a person or a thing or a place or an animal like this. So, Noun is a name of a person or a thing or a person or a bird like this. So, name of a person. Name of a person or a thing. Are you clear? I think all of you clear. What's parts of speech? 
and then what is the function of parser speed and then where it types up now the first one is noun and then the remaining is seven which we can see step by step the next one is pronoun but now means the name of a person or a thing okay what's pronoun pronoun means we use pronoun instead of a noun take for example he she he she it they them so these are all that instead of using noun we use pronoun okay are you clear so instead of in short version we can remember that instead of noun we use pronoun so these are all the examples he she it they them our his him like this that you know well already okay then next one is verb i think all of you have clear idea regarding the noun and the pronoun okay then next one is verb so verb is the important organ sentence so without verb we can't frame sentence that you know well so verb is the queue of the sentence okay so without verb we cannot frame a sentence that you had already remember this is just a reminder okay so verb is an important organ of an organ of a sentence okay so for example so what is the action denoting word in short version we can call it as action word this is the short version action word okay without this action word we cannot frame a sentence even a single verb can have the sense of a sentence take for example go come sit play sing so these are the sub words but they itself denotes the sentence they have the sense of the sentence that's the beauty of the verb are you clear about the verb okay so now we shall move to the adverb okay adverb i think now you can have a clear idea regarding the what's noun what's pronoun and the what's verb okay now we move to adverb 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 means is nothing but a adverb nothing but a qualifier of a verb qualifier of a verb so this is nothing but a drama
I think you have now you can you have a clear idea regarding the now pronoun verb and verb. Are you clear about these four things? Shall we move to the next one? Next one is preposition. Definition of 
objective. Okay. So are you clear about the attitude? So the always attitude always comes before a noun and modifies the meaning of the noun. Are you clear about the attitude? Okay. So regarding the parts of speech, we have seen some sex. So first one is noun, second one is pronoun, then third one is verb, then fourth one is adverb, and the sixth one is fifth one is preposition, and the, the sixth one is adjective. I think all of you have a clear idea regarding the, these three. Okay. Now let us move to the self conjunction. Conjunction, a mere definition, if we tell in short person means nothing but the linkers. They, they can be always called as linkers because they join either to work or to sentences or to classes. Okay, that's the function of conjunction. Okay, so I went to a market and I bought a pen and a pencil. Okay, Rama and Lashmana are brothers. Okay, here Rama and Lashmana are two words. So, and is a conjunction. Like this. If you study hard, you can get more. Here, if is a conjunction. Though, though it read heavily, though it read heavily, they continue to play. Here, though is the conjunction. Though it rained heavily, the boys continue. So, play. Here, though is the conjunction. Okay, because this is up to this. Though it rained is a subordinate class. This one is main class. So, though is the Though connects with this subordinate class, this is that of the main class. Though here it acts as a conjunction. Okay. So totally there are three types of conjunctions. One is subordinate conjunction and the other one is coordinating connection and the third one is correlating connection. Okay. So this one is a subordinating conjunction. Though, if, as, when are the some examples for subordinating connection. Okay. And but with and but so otherwise are some of the examples of coordinating connections. Very clear. Then correlating connection means not only but also he is not only a teacher but also a but also the principal like this. He is not only a writer but also a uh, director. Okay. So not only but also either or neither or like this. So these things are called as correlating conjunction. So conjunction functions as the mere link, mere joins. Okay, this is nothing but it acts as the function of joining either two words or two classes or two sentences. I think all of you have, have clear idea regarding the conjunction. I think all of you have a clear idea after this seven parts of speech. Again, I want to give you a quick recap. So, what are the parts of speech means? The totally there are eight parts of speech. So, what are they? Now, pronoun, verb, adverb, then preposition, then adjective, then conjunction. The last one is, what is the last one? Interjection. Eight one is interjection. So interjection express them, they express some sudden feelings, they express in short ways, we can call it, it functions as them, some sudden feelings. So alas, for example, alas, alas, then hurrah, 
Preu, examens, alas, dăm hura, brevo, e, dăm vo, să zic să le dăm, interjection. Ok, they express some subtle theories, because alas, uh, we used to, uh, alas, they did not do denote the sorrow condition. Okay. Then hurra. Hurra means happiness. Okay. Hurra. Our name uh, on the world leader. Like this. Hurra. Then grave means appreciation. So if the captain wants to appreciate the students, the players means bravo, my boys, we have done well. Okay. So this type of uh, sentences. We use this uh, interjection. Oh, oh, what a beautiful temper it is. So it expresses the Wonderful, okay. Exclamation, okay. So far in, in exclamatory sentences, we can see such type of interjections, okay. Are you clear about all the eight parts of speech? So before the end of the class, I want to do a quick recap. So my dear children. Uh, realize the importance of English. So without having enough knowledge in English grammar, we can't speak good English. That's why I, give, I want to give uh, vital importance to grammar. That's why I prefer uh, these uh, parts of English. Because this is the pathway, that means gateway or threshold of English grammar. So that already we had done your 9th standard class. But in spite of that, I want to give a just a reminder. So without having enough knowledge in this area, we can't go into the English. Okay. That's why I prefer to give you again. Okay. So again, I want to give a quick recap. So parts of speech. Today, we have seen what's parts of speech. Parts of speech depicts the functions of each and every word. Okay. So totally, there are eight parts of speech. The first one is noun and second one is pronoun third one is verb and the fourth one is adverb then fifth one is preposition then sixth one is adjective and seventh one is conjunction and the last eighth and the last one is interjection now all of you have understood what is parts of speech and what are the uses of parts of speech and totally how many parts of speech are you clear so up to this we can move to the today this is the end of the parts of speech classes i think all of you have the clear idea regarding the parts of speech so today this is the end of this class so before uh, close to the close the class i want to remind you so though this COVID-19 pandemic disease uh, seems to be vanished, but still it is there. So insist your parents and you also should keep the guidelines given by the government to the pupil. So what are the guidelines means? We have to wear the face mask. Whenever we attempt to go outside the class, we have to wear the face mask. Okay. Then second step is, so we have to hand wash that means use the sanitizer if you there is no sanitizer means you have to wash your hands with your detergents so note it detergents so the detergent means the soap which we use to wash the cloths then the what's the third step means so whenever we go outside we should be, uh, we should be cautious regarding the maintaining distance so if we follow all these three guidelines means definitely we can come over, we can manage to escape from this pandemic disease. So, this, uh, uh, so and, and also one more thing I want to insist you, kindly instruct, kindly compel your parents so as to have the uh, vaccination because it is on the way. So, government and Tamil Nadu government is trying very hard to give the vaccination. So, kindly insist your parents and uh, others, elders in your uh, home to go to the nearby government hospital so as to have the vaccination. So they, by following these, all the four methods, we can 
come across we can come over this pandemic disease okay so thank you children thank you thank you for your kind cooperation so we expect the same cooperation from for all the subjects okay thank you thank you see you again thank you